Hi all, Leela has been playing some fascinating games against Tucano in the TSAC Cup 2nd edition. So this is uh, match 9. Uh, the second round against Tucano is a fascinating game, but they're all pretty interesting. Let's have a look at this one. The time control is 30 minutes with a 5 second increment per move. So knight f3 from Leela. We have c5, g3, g6. This is the end of the book. C3, this is a very, very uh, solid system, which actually you might remember Fisher used this system against Mikhail Tao once in a blitz game, which has been video annotated on the channel. So uh, we have here C takes, C takes, knight C6, knight C3, bishop G7, Leela castles, and Tucano plays the very aggressive looking knight E4. Okay, it's... Uh, giving black equality just to take here that d4 will be under fire so leader actually responds with knight e5 so hitting that knight putting pressure on the knight and wanting also to have frontal pressure against d5 black took on c3 let's have a look here knight takes e5 d takes on bishop takes there's knight takes d5 here and white is slightly better for example here taking the queens off this is very pleasant for white small edge at least uh, so yeah we have knight takes c3 b takes now knight takes e5 d takes and you might wonder okay there's some possibilities here black played to castle here castling if bishop takes e5 bishop takes d5 is good on bishop takes c3 there's bishop takes f7 check King takes queen b3 check and then picking up that bishop with a nice big advantage. Uh, so in this position here, alternatively, if e6, then there's a nice check and then queen e4 is nifty. So this variation, white ends up being better. Uh, also, if castling instead, bishop h6, rook e8, queen b3, white has a small edge there looking at f7. So very, very nice uh, possibilities. So black just castled. So taking stock, white has these doubled pawns. Are they a liability or in some way an asset here? It's supported, f4 supports e5, bishop e6, bishop e3. The bishop is making the pawn chain here more solid, especially the c3 pawn. Queen a5 hitting c3, that's protected now. So what feature does this offer, this advanced central pawn wedge? Bishop d7. We have queen b3, looking at d5. That's protected. And now Lila goes on to the attack with h4. So maybe you could argue the central pawn wedge here has got the perk that white can go for a direct attack. e6 was played. Now this does allow the possibility of a dreaded form pawn attack. You can imagine now that g4 later f5 and f6 could create a dreaded form pawn uh, but the alternative f6 for example trying to bite at white's pawn chain uh, white can just play e takes and after bishop takes e3 as an example white is definitely having a small edge here undoubling the pawns solid in the center it's black that has an extra pawn island now that e7 pawn so white's slightly better there so this seems in a way sensible but look at what happens now h5 we have rook fc8 uh, if g takes h5 was played then f5 pawn roller and here rook f4 this is very dangerous for black this variation king f2 protects e2 and prepares to double the rooks on the h file so we have rook fc8 h takes h takes and now g4 so there's the dreaded form pawn threat f5 f6 yes this is a menace queen a6 hitting e2 that's actually protected bishop b5 and now f5 not bothering to protect the e2 pawn and you might wonder why black played bishop c4 though on bishop takes e2 it turns out here what it has f takes which slightly weakens d5 because now bishop takes d5 e takes check and this is mating black like this 
for example if we look at this variation again uh, with f takes and then bishop takes if instead bishop takes g4 bishop takes b7 is very nice for white and then winning the exchange and there's no problems there. there's a token check and that's it so very very dangerous black played bishop c4 ignoring the form pawn incoming and we do have the dreaded form pawn now okay and black realized now there's huge problems with this form pawn and actually gave up an entire piece making the rest of the game kind of just a conversion exercise if black had played bishop f8 bishop f3 makes way for the rook to come to the h file b5 rook h2 this is just an example a smooth way to play it just double the rooks and then checkmate as an example so black has to really do something which yeah bishop f8 does just not doing anything the king's really locked in there as a prisoner and the pawn stops even escape exits like e7 later once white doubles the rooks so we have um just giving up the bishop f takes king takes queen d2 it is pretty hopeless we have queen f4 looking at f7 that's protected bishop f3 let's have a look at the technique check rook h2 swapping off a pair of rooks because the threat here is rook takes h8 mate so one pair of rooks the queens are offered here uh, that's taken and now king h3 some amusement here as Leela actually puts the king towards the f6 square it's guarded at the moment a3 which frees up the rook now away away from not losing the a2 pawn if it if the rook moves bishop b5 rook a2 rook a1 bit of messing around here so black does seem to have restraint at least against a4 and c4 for the moment uh, so e3 here bishop e2 and here if the king moved you might think well why is it why is the king neglecting f6 it doesn't really matter really if rook b8 then bishop c5 for example and then the bishop can go into f6 and this is totally winning so it's a bit pointless whatever happens so king g8 the king steps into f6 and so people were amused yesterday fawn king prompting me to do a video of this game <laughs> so that's why uh, it's there wasn't too much of a game really it seems a bit one-sided uh, after the form pawn attack winning the piece so we have a fawn king on f6 and now perhaps yeah quite interesting e4 offering a, a pawn sacrifice to loosen uh, black for c4 later now that there isn't such a pressure on c4 now rook a1 as though maybe a4 is coming next but actually it's not played here rook b1 leader's messing around a bit a4 is possible uh for example bishop d1 and then you know this kind of thing white's going to have a big advantage to break down any uh, resistance but uh messing around rook b1 rook c1 rook b1 rook a1 messing around a bit uh because Lila just feels she's winning so doesn't have to find the optimal route that's the difference between leader and traditional uh, ab engines but uh, here rook b4 so there are some changes in the position of course that pair of bishops coming off uh the king goes to g5 now rook e2 this pawn's collected and now the king comes back actually a4 this tries to create a pass c pawn now by offering this pawn it's refused uh, that's taken and now knocking down b5 will create a past c pawn ready to queen so leaders made this game look a little bit easy tukano is not the most scary engine in the tournament of course the mighty stockfish is there are other powerful engines but tukano you know, was kind of expected to win this match so it's eight an eight game match so this is one of the the interesting games to start off with uh, after g2 the game was ended here both engines thought it was absolutely overwhelming for white an example continuation rook takes g2 uh, bishop d2 is check winning the rook so where does the rook go uh, white's easily winning this say king f5 then bishop b6 for bishop c5 and queening so for example like this and then queening so very easily winning so let's take back 
uh, that to the final position of the G2. So what do we get from this game? Well, I think one of the key lessons is the seemingly undesirable pawn structure did offer some interesting upside perks. Having these double pawns let white later undermine black's king side and then later play for a fawn on f6, which was devastating. So by the, having the bishop on d4, it seems white's pawn structure was solid enough. The bishop was acting as a guardian over the dark square pawns. Fawn pawn attack led to win, winning a piece and it was pretty much fun uh, after that, quite easy to convert, relatively easy anyway. Okay. If you enjoyed this game video, then please click on the top left box, which should appear shortly. Become a member at chessbowl.net, play against other YouTubers. You can also check the YouTube analysis in advance of these games from the improved menu you learn from the Masters YouTube order button. And you can now also test yourself on the variations we covered in this video and other game videos recently. From the improved menu, there's a puzzle box, puzzle books option. Uh, so check that out as well comments questions donations see the description like shares subscribes with the notification bell really appreciated thanks very much